I have an idea for an app. I want to make an app called Non-Negotiables, and I want to use AI to create this. In full, I'm going to use Replit and Cursor and Firebase to do this. I just want to create it for my team. It's a very simple app, and you're going to be able to sign in. After I create this video, you're going to be able to sign in, and you're going to be able to create your own Non-Negotiables for your own team. And I want to test this out. Let's see how quickly we can make this. I'm just going to make it live. Basically, the premise behind the app is it's a very simple app uh, that shows a weekly view that did you get your Non-Negotiables done for that week, and it's going to have a simple seven-wide grid that will show all of the people on your team and you have to just check off one singular task, the task that you'd have to do for the day. And so we're gonna create that right now. Let's go ahead and see how long it takes us. Okay, so we're gonna start from this template right here. This is in the Software Composers community. We're gonna open this up and we're just gonna use this template and we're gonna call this Accountable. Accountable, that is the name of this little app right here or non-negotiable, that's the other name that I wanna use, but let's just go ahead and open this up. So now that we have this open, we can type in SSH. So we're gonna open up SSH and we're also gonna open up Secrets. And once we do that, let's first start off with SSH. So we can open up Cursor and let's just go ahead and go into the terminal and we're gonna hit Command K and we're just gonna type in SSH REPL. And this is a little keyboard shortcut that I use to generate the this key thing. You're gonna to need to copy this. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna paste it into this SSH section. We're gonna to go to keys, add SSH, we're gonna paste this in and we're gonna call this account accountable and we're going to add this ssh key we're going to go back to connect and what we're going to do is copy this key right here after we've added the key and we're going to go like this and we're just going to open with ssh we're going to paste it in we're not going to press this we're going to hit add new host we're going to paste this in we're going to press enter we're going to press the top one now we're going to hit connect now we're going to hit open folder once this opens up we're going to hit continue first and this should open up and allow us to select from the folder we can press that once this is done loading uh, there it is now we can hit workspace we can hit okay now we should be connected connected to cursor and replit. Let's go ahead and we're going to move this. We're going to move this to a new window right here. And yeah, now we can, now we're connected. And here are all our files and okay. So now we're connected and now we have, now what we need to do is we need to go into secrets. And so we need to connect it to our database. And so this app comes with built-in database templates. So all we need to do is go to Firebase google.com this is a firebase that we're going to use is we're going to just go to console and what we're going to do is we're going to call this accountable and what we're going to do is hit continue now we're going to turn this off and we're going to create the project and while that is loading what we're going to do is we're going to open this up in a split view type thing right here and we're going to open this up full screen because we need to put the secrets in as soon as this is done loading it's going to basically ask us to create like a web app and we need to paste in API keys to connect this Firebase to this right here. I'll show you exactly what I mean. We're gonna press this web thing. We're gonna call this accountable, doesn't really matter. Register the app, keep these Firebase secrets. So keep the secret. Now we're gonna copy and paste these keys over and we are going to just paste them all over. It takes a little bit, boom, uh, boom, and boom, and boom. Okay, so we're gonna paste these over, add secret. Okay, so now these secrets are uploaded. We're gonna hit continue to console. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up, we're gonna do a Google Store Firebase, we're gonna do authentication, and we're also going to do a storage. Now we're gonna go back up to Google Store Firebase, wait for it to load up here at the top. We're gonna hit create database. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit next, we're gonna start in test mode, we're gonna hit create. Now we're gonna to go to storage first, and yeah, let's do storage first. We're gonna hit get started, start in test mode next and done. That's basically all we need to do for that. Authentication, this will take about 60 seconds probably. We're going to hit get started. Then what we're going to do is we're going to hit Google and we're going to hit enable. Then we're going to hit Riley. This doesn't really matter. It's just a support email. Once this is done loading, we are going to need to go basically add in the dev domain. So we're just going to need to basically hit play here on Replit. And what this is going to do is it's going to give us a dev domain that we basically need to authorize. Basically telling Google, hey, okay, this dev domain might have people sign in on this app, dude. Yeah. And they'll get along. It'll all be great. We can paste that in here we can add this now the dev domain is connected now what i'm going to do is i'm going to stop this i'm going to full screen this or i'm going to run this then full screen it now our app is starting up this is the basically the starting point of our of our template here and so what we're going to do is we're going to hit sign in with google and this is now we can now sign into this app and it's pretty cool so you can sign into this app and so this is like basically the starting point of this app and we have cursor open right here we're gonna hit command shift i and we're gonna go back here and so you can see here this is the starting point of the app you can ignore this error this is just missing or insufficient permission i believe what we need to do actually is you need to go to google firestore database and you need to hit rules just make sure that it says to make this true don't worry about the rules for now so just make sure this is true hit publish and now what we're gonna do is say I want to create an app that allows me to add a user. And so these users should be stacked on top of each other. 
or at least be vertical. And then what I want is this app is designed to hold each other accountable to our non-negotiables tasks. And so I want this to be a weekly view. So there should be seven squares going horizontally. And the premise of the app is the each person ha has either done or not done their non-negotiable task for the day. And there's only one singular non-negotiable task for the day. And it should be green if it's done, red if it's not done. And I want this to just be on the main homepage of this template that we've created. So whatever's there now, I want you to replace it and use the Google Firebase that's built into this template that you're seeing. This project is the template. And I want you to basically just create this app so it's simple. And then at the very top, call it non-negotiables. And then have a really intense subtitle beneath that that says you better do your non-negotiable task, no excuses, or something along those lines. Lines. And then, yeah, you should be able to add users and then say whether they've done them, haven't done them, or obviously if there's, uh, if you haven't put anything yet, it should just be a plain square. And these should be grids and I should be able to go forward and backwards and see future weeks. And I should be able to, also I should be able to add in a non-negotiable task. So if there's one that you need to do on that day, it should just be a blue square. So it's either you have one task due that's blue. And if you haven't done it, it's blue. But once you've done it, it will turn green. If you click on any square that has a non-negotiable task, it should show you the details. Obviously, you need to be able to add in non-negotiable tasks, and you should be able to put in what day of the week you have to do it. And then there should also be one-off tasks. And so you should distinguish between the two. Oh my God. Okay. At code base. Let's see if it gets all this. Wow. This is going to be hard, but we'll see. We'll see what happens here. So we are good to go. Hopefully let's just go ahead and we're going to stop this and rerun it. Hopefully the new rules have taken place already. And what we can do here. Yeah. You can see that we're not getting the error when we load this up anymore and we can click on profile and we can actually hit sign out and we can sign in with Google and we can hit Riley at create.inc. We can sign in with a new account and yeah, looks like we are good to go. And so it has created some of the things here. It's done all the coding. We can hit save all. Let's go ahead and go back. We got an error. We're just, let's just, yeah, refresh this. So we got an error. That's okay. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to separate these, separate all tabs. What are, we're going to do here is I'm going to paste in this error. I'm not really going to paste in anything else. I'm just going to type code base, paste it in. And let's see. And it is doing some coding, making some changes. That's cool. Let's see here. We need to install npm install date fn. Okay, so we have to go to shell. And we're going to just paste this in like that. It's going to do some magic. I'm going to hit stop while that runs. Okay, that's good. Now let's go like this. Let's hit save all and go back. Let's see what it looks like. Here we go. We have non-negotiables. Uh, no excuses. I don't see the option to add, but I can switch weeks. So I'm just going to tell it I don't see the option to add a person or a non-negotiable task. Can you please do that? And we can hit at code base. And we can run that. And this is looking pretty good. See what it looks like this. We don't see any grid. Maybe it'll just show up here, but we'll see how it does after this. We'll see how it does here. Generating, generating, doing some more stuffs. Doing more stuff. And we can hit save all. And okay, so now we can add a person. The name is person is Riley RB at visionary.co. Let's add this person. There we go. Uh, we can add a task. This is a one off task. Uh, this is do your dishes. Let's test this. Do your dishes. Make sure to do those things, man. Exclamation point. One off task. Uh, let's go ahead and make this on Wednesday. Add task. I don't see it right here. I don't understand. Um, okay. So I'm adding tasks, but I don't see anything on the board. So if I add a task, I don't see where it goes. Oh, wait, did I mess this up? What if I hit add person, add task? Did I put in a person's name? Ah. On the task there should be a person field and it should let you select from the, the users that you've added already. And yeah, you should be able to create a non-negotiable for that day or for that person and that non-negotiable task. Okay. 
Let's try recurring weekly on uh, Thursday. Hi, add task, right? If I were to refresh it, it'll still have Riley here. Okay, so it is, the Firebase is working. Okay, save all. So we can add a task. Now we can select from Riley, task title, hi test, hi, recurring weekly, Wednesday, add task. There we go, it's blue, green, blue, green, okay. Blue or green. Um, okay, okay, okay. Now we can add another person. So let's add a person. Let's make uh, Anj. And I'm just going to put j at j.com. Copy that. Add this person. Add another person, Kihan. And we're going to paste that in. Add that person. And so now what we can do is now we can add tasks. Okay, cool. Whenever I add it, uh, I want to also be able to mark them as not done. So if they didn't do them. So there should be blue, green, and red. And if there is a task on a certain day that you need to do a thing, you need to press the, yeah, you can press it twice. So you, it starts out on blue, you can press it for green, and then you press it on red. That easy. Yeah, and so now we can add some more tasks. Let's say Kihan needs, we're going to do a, a weekly code review. And the description is a meet with team, let them know what changes were made. And then we're going to recur this as a weekly task. This is going to be on Monday morning. We're going to add this task. Boom, right there. If we go to the next week, you can see that all the recurring tasks are still there. Let's try and add a Kihan, let's go one-off. We're going to call this a one-off task. Description, one-off task. And we're going to make this on this day right here, add task. So now it shouldn't be on the next one. Okay, that's pretty solid. Let's hit save here. Now what we should be able to do is go green and red. Now that change was made. That's pretty cool. How do we see what... Okay, I want you to, when I hover over a day that has a task in it, I want it to have some pop-up icon that pops up just like a little bubble that shows me what the task is and what the description of that task and all the information that was entered in a way that looks good. And we can add code base. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Okay. Yes, indeed. Okay. Now I can start thinking about how I want to organize this. I, I don't mind this. So let's just see if this worked here. If we hover over this right here, meet with team, there we go, boom, boom, one-off task. Oh, and this says it's a one-time task. This says recurring every Wednesday. So weekly code review, meet with the team and let them know. There you go. So have you done it? Yep, you've done it. No, you haven't done it. Okay, cool. Okay, nice, nice. Now, now what I want you to do is I want you to add some padding on each side of this page so everything will be a little bit more compact. Keep all the functionality the same, except I want you to have one column at the end which sums the amount of non-negotiable tasks that you have done for the week and the amount that you've successfully completed. If all of them are complete, it should be a green number. If it is under 100%, then make it just the normal dark gray color. And then clean up a little bit of the styling. I want the add task and add button to be gray and I want them to both be at the, in the same location and I'll make those icons instead of the, instead of the text on the button. They should both be icons on a button instead. All right. Now, while that is loading, that is going to town here. And boom, check that out. So we have the next week, previous week. Let's just do that. Make the next week and the previous week, make those arrows instead. Oh, and I, how have I been pretty, let's actually go ahead and just accept all of these changes. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to Replit, we're gonna open up Git, and we're gonna basically save our work. So we're initiating our uh, commit. So now we have basically have saved this. And what we're going to do is we're just going to reset the composer. And now we're going to paste this in. Make the next week and the previous week instead of the text on the buttons. They should just be arrows. And yeah. Okay, this looks a lot better, I think. Yep, so Riley is one of one. Ange doesn't have a task. Let's go ahead and create a task for Ange. This is going to be, this is going to be a weekly weekly accountability meeting lead and this is going to be Ange and he is going to lead the gr group on a meeting that holds everyone accountable <laughs> and we're just going to recur this and this is just going to be Friday 
let's see what it looks like for a longer one. And, and I want you to really make sure that everyone did their thing. And if someone didn't complete all their tasks, make sure that we talk about why that happened. Paste that in right there. Boom. Add that task. Now Anj has one. So if we were to mark it off as green and if it was red, it'll still say like that. And now it's, we got that green there. Now we can make these changes. So now these should turn to arrows instead. Yeah, that's fine. Non-negotiables, no excuses, get it done, period. We can see all of the tasks just like this. And we are pretty solid. Yeah, all right, let's go ahead and let's just go to deployments and let's just set up our deployment. Let's just see if this works. And let's just try and deploy this thing. It'll probably fail. It normally fails at least once. It's hard to deploy stuff, but if it does, it's all good. That's okay. This takes a little bit of time. In the meantime, we can go to name cheap and we could buy a domain, non-negotiables. Non non-negotiables. Dot com. Dang it. Oh, it deployed. First try. There we go. So this is a deployment now. Now what happens is we actually have to take this domain and we have to actually take this into Firebase and we need to do the same thing that we did earlier. So what we need to do is we need to go to, we need to open this up on the side here. We need to go to authentic continue. We need to go to settings and we need to go to authorized domains and we need to add this domain here. Now what we should be able to do is we should be able to refresh. Um, oops, I should have refreshed this deployments right here we can press this app structure diagram okay yeah continue with google now we can sign in with rileybrown at gmail.com if we hit home there we go oh it still has this bottom bar which is ugly but here you go we have this oh this is the new task and there you go we have this app that does this this is non-negotiables yeah we made this app you can try this let's buy a domain do your stuff no, wait, non-negotiabletasks.com. Good, continue with PayPal. Come on, hurry up. Continue with order. Let's just do that. So now what we need to do is we need to actually go to Replit. What we're gonna do is in deployments, we're gonna hit settings and we're gonna hit link a domain. And I don't even, I don't, who knows if I even spelled this right. Thank you for your purchase. Which one was it? This one, non-negotiabletasks.com. Replit, we're gonna paste this here. Next, link a domain. Okay, so we need to paste in these records here. So we're gonna go to Namecheap. We're gonna go to manage, yeah, set up DNS for your name. We need to go to dashboard. And what we need to do is find non-negotiabletasks.com. We're gonna hit manage, and then we're gonna to go to advanced DNS. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna delete these right here. Yes and yes. And what we're gonna do is hit add new record, a record. We're gonna paste that one in. Text record that we can paste in like that. What the hell? Oh yeah, text record. So we need to paste in a text record, paste that in. These should both be at, and we're gonna hit this and this. And now we're gonna just link domain. And now it's verifying, so it'll take a little bit. Okay, so it takes a little bit of time for that to load. We actually need to paste in non-negotiables, the actual domain, non-negotiables.com. And so that way we can actually go to non-negotiables.com. So we are on that actual domain and I can sign in with Riley Kirkwood Brown at gmail.com. We can hit home and there we go, non-negotiabletasks.com.